Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and uh, welcome back aboard U96 as we continue with more U-boat videos. In the last episode, we did a raid on Portsmouth Port, and it was fairly uneventful. Uh, we sunk a couple of Corvettes, but that's about it. There wasn't a whole lot in the port. Now we're heading on to greener pastures. We are heading down south towards the Canary Islands. We may piddle around Gibraltar a little bit and see what kind of uh, single merchant ships we can find here, if any. Uh, but this area is generally fairly good hunting grounds because you have a lot of merchant ships coming up from Freetown and even Cape Down further south all the way into the Med or up to uh, the UK there. So that is going to be the plan for the time being. We'll see how we do. Overall, U96 is in pretty good shape. I'm actually curious on our torpedo situation. So we expended four torpedoes in our raid, it looks like. But other than that, we're good. Fuel is doing all right as well. Uh, the only limiting factor, I think, again, is going to be food. We are running a little bit low on food at this point. We do have some cheese and some canned bread that we can throw in the galley here, and I'll do that sooner rather than later. And let's see, and I have one T2 torpedo in tube number five. So that is what we have for the time being. Should be able to find a few more ships to sink before we head back to La Rochelle. And it looks like we have a little bit of water in the bilge. So we'll go ahead and get that turned on. A lot of people ask how I pull up this menu and it's just by pressing and holding the tab key. And we'll have a sailor turn on the pump. I do wish there were a few more options here, uh, like turning off and on the lights, like switching what lights you want, but that's okay. No big deal. Other than that, we have Hans on the uh, radio, although he probably doesn't need to be on there right now. We'll send him off to uh, rest. All right, it's currently 7.40 in the morning on 16 July 1941, and U-96 has spotted smoke on the horizon. We're going to increase speed and head towards the target. It looks like it's a small group consisting of two to four vessels, so it should be quite exciting. If it's unescorted, I'm contemplating using the deck gun on them, just because we have quite a bit of deck gun ammo that I kind of need to get rid of. <laughs> I, I kind of want to use it. And the deck gun's very effective in this game, so that helps as well. We shall see, though. We have Hoffman here rearming all of our torpedoes. I'm going to unassign these extra crew on all these guys. I was messing around a little bit. There we go. Things looking good. I'm actually going to... I will get two more on the, uh, on the watch, though. Increase our range a little bit. There we go. Three vessels. Wow. Okay, this is promising. We will 315 this target here. Mark and start the clock. After three minutes and 15 seconds, we should have a fairly accurate speed here. I slowed down the boat just to get this because she's right on the outside edge of our visual bubble. All right, two minutes. And closing in on three. Oh, man, I hate that so much. Whenever you hover over the merchant ship with uh, your marker, it disappears. Okay, 10 seconds. And 15 mark. Perfect. Okay. Range between the two points is... Six and a half knots. So 640 meters at 6.4 knots. Okay. Get that out of here. Continue heading and we'll cut them off here. We'll probably attack the enemy around this area. That looks reasonable to me. All ahead full. Guess we get a radio man on and uh, shoot off our findings to BDU. Oh, I guess we can't. Okay. That's fine. All right. I'm feeling pretty confident in this attack. Or something like that. And we'll submerge at this point once we make our turn. Let's reduce speed down to uh, one third. 
The enemies are still not in range now. We've broken off visual contact. Perfect. I'm thinking I'll lob torpedoes at uh, the rightmost merchant ship in the lead. Okay, we've made our turn. Turn complete. Dive down to periscope depth. And then the last merchant ship, we will finish off with a deck gun, as well as any ships that are just crippled uh, from our torpedo hits. I don't want to waste a whole lot of torpedoes, especially since this is an unescorted convoy. Um, in theory, we could just use the deck gun and <laughs> wipe them all out, but I figured torpedo attacks are a little more exciting. Might as well try first, right? If you don't succeed, you always have the deck gun. All right, boat is slowly submerging. And down she goes. Okay, switching to electrics. Perfect, perfect. All right, and now we really just need to lay and wait for the targets to run along their track and intersect our course let's begin acquiring some information let's see what's going on try to identify the targets real fast raise the scope a little bit more so it's not getting washed over by the uh, rough seas this will be one target we'll fire at this one first to lock on has a very thick stack empire tower i think this may actually be it Oh, we'll plug it in for now. Next target. This looks like, I don't know what that looks like actually. Fire tower. No, fire explorer. Let's flip through these just to check. I might have already passed it, but who the heck knows. Yeah, it's not that. Okay. It's one of these uh, first ships in the row. Okay, not a destroyer. Empire Bell. We're going with Empire Bell. Bring up the TDC. We're firing with the Bell torpedoes. Torpedo speed is going to be 40 knots. Speed is 6.4. We'll just do 6.5. Range will probably be around 1 kilometer. We'll see, though, as we get closer. Angle on bow at the moment, we'll do around 65. That oh, will do 70. Okay, they're re preheating tube one. Let's get two men in there with them. I guess it's only a one man job. If I assign more men, it's not going to help at all. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I think we're, we're ready to go here. These ships are pretty close in line. It'll be interesting. Oh, accidentally got got him off the attack scope. Get back on there. Apparently, I might be targeting the wrong merchant ship here. Okay. Oh, I sure am. That's the third ship in the line right there. Okay, this is going to be the primary target. Copy that. And then this one will be the second one. Let's identify this one. I know what this one is. It's the NA1, I want to say. Oh, just passed it. There we go. Recognize that target. Perfect. Unlock. We'll fire at that one last. Okay, so this is the closest ship. This is the lead middle one. And this is the far, the far one there. Empire Lily. Yeah. I guess I could fire at all three, but... The problem with that, I think, would be... Uh, our torpedoes accidentally hitting the ship that are intended for this far one. And we'll just hit these two and finish Empire Lily off with the uh, deck gun. I think that's a good good deal. And okay, they're getting nice and close. Time to make final preparations for the attack. Okay. 
Okay, lock on target. Angle on bow is just shy of 90 now. Uh, just shy, speed six and a half knots, range. Let's go ahead and get range using this tool. Go, top of the mast, set, range 2,428 and set that. Oh, it automatically did it for me, perfect. Okay, speed 40 knots, everything's looking good. Tube one flood, we'll actually set the 44 knots. Okay, 44 knots, depth 2.5 meter. Yeah, we'll do two meters, that should be fine. Debating shooting two, but we'll just shoot one. Two, one, low. Nose! Okay. Unlock target, next target in line. Hello. Range. This one's gonna be much, much closer. Set, one, one kilometer, sounds about right. Angle on bow, we'll do 80 degrees. Blood tube two. This is a, okay. G7E torpedo. Speed 30 knots. Okay, tube three, close. All right, tube one's heading towards the target. Looks like we'll have ourselves a hit. And uh, tube number three is heading towards the target as well. Looks like we'll have a hit. Torpedo impact, perfect. One hit, looking good. Now do I, do I risk and fire at the Empire Lily? Looks like, yeah, see the Empire Lily is obstructed by the uh, ship we just hit, so. It's going to that'd be a tough shot. Looks like this uh, NA-1 is about to get it as well. We'll see, though. It looks looks good, but may just barely hit her in the bow. Yep, that's a hit. As long as it doesn't bounce. Come on. Wow, it went right under the target. And I set it for two meters. Okay, well, in that case... Depth, one meter. Make sure angle on bow is right at 90. Okay, tube four, los. Wow, interesting. Okay, let's see if this one hits, it's looking good. There we go, torpedo impact, that one meter it hit her. Okay. That's two vessels sunk. Pretty much. I mean, this one's... <laughs> yeah, they're both going down. No way. Okay, next target is Empire Lily. I'm debating firing at her with a torpedo as well. We'll see. Okay, the first two ships have gone under quite rapidly. All right, may finish uh, Empire Lily off with a torpedo. Empire Liddell is sending off a radio message. Okay. Lock on target. Angle on bow, right at 90. Speed, we'll do six, six knots, probably. Speed 30 knots, since it's a G70 torpedo. Tube two flood, depth one meter, since stuff tends to, uh, Run shallow. What is the draft of that NA-1? That's my question. Six point three two meters. So, okay. All right. A tube two. Los. All right. There we go. Full salvo away. Torpedo is looking pretty good. I did not adjust range, but that shouldn't affect things too much. She is turning, though. That will affect things a little bit. I think we still have a hit here, however, despite her uh, evasive maneuvers. We're going to find out, though. Don't see the torpedo coming in just yet. Look at that water. Water looks good down here. Oh. Ooh, boom, right in the bow. 
You know what? I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Looks like she's carrying uh, trucks as well. Not bad. So we missed with one torpedo that ran right under the target. Um, it could have been a malfunction, but I don't believe malfunctions are in the game. I think it's just because the drafts aren't properly modeled in the game. Okay, we're going to surface the boat. I don't know if Empire Lily... Wow, look, the screws are out of the water. Or the screw, I should say. That's pretty cool. She's going nose down, and the engines have stopped. I wonder if she'll sink. Low air reserves? Well, we'll see if she'll go down. I mean, she looks done for. Missing workers on the conning tower. Well, that's not good. May have to pump a few deck gun rounds in her. Okay, turn on the diesel compressor, switch over to diesel engines. I will get this man, Kloss, on the deck gun with two additional sailors. Get in there, Wolf. Get on the... Get on the bridge, pal. Also, our radio operator. Let's get this radio message from Empire Liddell. I don't believe this is any of the ships we just sunk, but it could have been, like a distress call. Oh my gosh. Uh, poor Empire Lily. It has certainly seen better days. I may just actually let my uh, crewmen do this one. Yeah, let, let my crewmen fire at ships. Let's see how they do. How much ammo they're going to waste. The problem is effective range. Oh, effective range for the deck gun in this game is like 500 meters because the sights are just so bad. And it looks like they're bad for my crewmen. Hold fire. We'll get closer. Let's see. Is there any supplies I can pick up in the water here? Okay, it looks like there's two crates here. I'll definitely want. Oh, 13 cheese and eight dried fish. Oh, heck yeah. That sounds good. That'll help us out, considering our food stocks are probably getting low. All right, how's the how's this message coming along? Almost done. Almost done decoding it. Well, we'll continue to close in on the Empire Lily and finish her off. New radio message received. Empire Liddell. Massive smoke column spotted, and then they give the, the coordinates. This is a ship somewhere. Yep, down here. Unknown group, unknown size. Oh, she's sinking. Oh, perfect. Didn't even have to use a deck gun round. Did I? Yeah, apparently it's going under. Perfect. Well, we'll slow down. You can go... You can get off the deck gun and go to sleep. Got a radio message. Another radio message from Empire Liddell. Decoding that. Maybe they're reporting another smoke column. Let's see, is there any supplies that's going to come off of this vessel? Three ships sunk. Not bad. I can say I am happy with those results. Let's shoot these radio messages off. To BDU. Looks like no supplies are in the water, so it looks like we'll have to head back over here to pick these up. Well, U-96 has taken food on board from that wreckage there, and we are currently heading towards the next target down to the south. It seems like this unknown group is heading northward, and we should be able to intercept it with relative ease. If it is just a lone ship, I probably will use the deck gun this time around, considering we haven't really used the deck gun uh, this patrol. Of course, we did fire it a couple of times, or my AI crewmen did, and just fired it right into the water about 50 meters in front of us, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. Uh, the torpedo situation is probably getting a little low at this point, so I do want to conserve them, although we are loading them in. Yeah, it looks like we'll have four torpedoes loaded in the bow tubes and then one in the stern, so uh, five torpedoes all around. Uh, 
Okay, we're getting awfully close to the chimney smoke now, and there we go. We have detection. It says it's a tiny group consisting of one to three ships. Let's see how many we spot. Two. Two vessels. I think that is worthy enough for the deck gun. Yeah, we'll just deck gun these guys. That'll be fun to uh, use the deck gun a little bit. And we'll conserve our torpedoes for juicier targets down the road. But these two guys, although, oh, wait a minute. Okay, dive the boat, actually. <laughs> Periscope depth. Quickly. Looks like this is a Liberty cargo, and it is fairly heavily armed. This one, however, seems to be unarmed. Yeah, I'd rather not get in a gun duel. She is sounding the alarm, though. And they are firing their gun. Oh, crap. That is not ideal. Looks like she doesn't have a gun behind her. So if we maneuver behind this vessel, we should be able to fire our gun with ease. And get into a kind of an exciting gun duel. Look how accurately they are firing compared to my deck gun crew. That's just sad. I have quite the reload speed as well. Okay, let's head towards the target. Okay, and we're getting a radio message from this vessel as well. We'll continue going full speed underwater to try to close this gap. And in the meantime, we'll 315 the target. Maybe we can fire off another torpedo. Did not realize the target was armed. Okay, mark. And start. We are pretty close, though. Okay, one minute. Looks like they're still sailing straight. <laughs> they're not even doing much. Okay, that's fine. Okay, passing three minutes. Get ready for 15 seconds and then we'll mark the target. 10. 15 mark. Okay, we'll draw from point A to point B. Five, five knots, speed five knots. That is understandable. Reduce speed down to slow and get on the scope. Up scope. You can actually see. Yeah, that, that thick boy. Lock on target, definitely a Liberty cargo. Recognize. 7,000 tonner. We can stop this. There we go. Okay, we're going to fire a G7A torpedo angle on bow. I'm going to guess around 80 degrees to starboard. Speed we established is 5 knots. Range to target 1 kilometer. We'll get a better range reading here using the statimeter. Like so. That's top of that mass set. 1,315 meters. I can believe it. Okay. Everything seems good. Everything's following. Bring up this. Let's see. G7E. We want a G7A. Oh, tube to speed 44 knots. Depth 1 meter just to be safe. I had too many instances where I'm setting the torpedoes slightly deeper and they just go right under. So 1 meter. Tube 2. Los. Los. All right. Let's see how this goes. I could fire two. You know what? Let's follow up uh, with tube three. 44 knots, depth one meter. Tube two, once it's flooded, we'll fire. And this should finish her off quite nicely. Tube two, los. There we go, tube two away. The torpedo's running hot straight normal towards the target. This looks pretty good. Thankfully, uh, this Liberty cargo did not <laughs> Not deem it necessary to do evasive maneuvers. And it's going to pay the consequences. Torpedo impact. Let's see. Let's wait for another one. It should be following shortly behind. Oh, wow. It, it hit right there. Did not see that. Well, that should do her in, right? Yeah. She is not looking too good. Lots of flooding and fire all over the deck. 
Okay, to avoid a ram, we're gonna go full. I may have to dive here momentarily. This small merchant ship is getting quite close to us. Yeah, let's get out of the way there. I don't know if it's intentionally trying to ram us, but I'd rather not find out. Mm-mm-mm. I would love to use a stern torpedo. Liberty Cargo is still doing okay. And yeah, we are out of the danger zone. It's like we avoid that avoided that collision, so we'll be fine. We'll maneuver behind this Liberty Cargo, and she's sunk. She's going down. And with that out of the way, we will surface the boat and deck gun this last target. We also just received another radio message, so let's... Out of range. We need to surface the boat, I suppose. Empire Livingstone. I do not think... Yeah, this is the Empire Leonard. I'm pretty sure this is the second Empire Leonard I've seen. But anyway, um, this may be another ship spotting the uh, massive plumes of smoke. So we may have another group out here that we can sink. Holy cow. This is just a, a rampage. An absolute rampage and an all you can eat, all you can sink merchant ship buffet. Let's go on the deck gun, Kloss. Get on there, buddy. I'm doing pretty good with the torpedo attacks as well. Well, if you can get on the on the bridge, turn on our pumps and turn on our diesel compressor. Make sure we've switched over to diesels. We have. Perfect, perfect. And I will man the deck gun. Uh, they're still going up to the gun. Once they get on it, I'll man it since they can't hit the broad sign of a barn. Yeah, I'll watch them climb down that ladder. This is pretty cool, though. All right. Train the gun over to the NA-1 here. And we have armor piercing loaded up. We have 35 rounds. Just lob a shot down there. Here, I'll actually let my... I'll try to get a little closer. Like, effective range is so, so short with this dead gun. Just because you can't hit anything. Oh, we'll run up alongside her. Make it nice and easy. There we go. That should be sufficient. Get on the gun. And... There we go. Direct hit. For some reason, my mouse is acting up. I I have a lot. Yeah, for some reason, my mouse is still here even when I'm manning the deck gun. So, like, it's easy to click all this other stuff. That's kind of making it difficult to aim. That's fine. Okay, started a fire on board. Already looks like she's listing pretty heavily to port. I see it. Like, look at that. Probably hold fire now. See, oh gosh. Yeah, and she's going down. And now my game UI is screwed up. There we go. Ah, <sighs> bugs, bugs, bugs. Okay, I'm actually going to reman the deck gun, and I wanna, I wanna align it. There we go. It's kind of hard to do this, but there we go. I'll get off the gun. Perfect. Okay. It's kind of unfortunate how many bugs I've experienced uh, this episode, but that's fine. That's fine, I suppose. 
go ahead and get rid of all this good stuff. Declutter my map. I don't like clutter. Is there any stuff I can pick up? No, there is not. Did we decipher that radio message from the, the other target? No, we did not. Maybe we missed our opportunity there. Okay, well, we'll continue heading south towards the coast of Gibraltar. I think this is a pretty good spot to end the episode. What an absolute rampage. Thank you all for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel and helps the video get out there. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.